Hey, look, we don't want any. Oh, hi. Hi, hi, how you doing? I'll be, wait, wait a second. Come on in, you're here for the house tour. Wonderful, come on in, welcome. So glad to see you. All right, come on in. Make yourself at home. I offered to take your coat, but as you see, we don't really have a place for you to put it. But that's okay. Just follow me and watch your step as you come along because I don't want to trip on any shoes or um, that old computer monitor that's been sitting there for about three weeks for some reason. Uh, but come on in. First of all, we'll just walk through the den here. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot of Christmas decorations in the den. We just have a few little trees here. And the reasons we don't have a lot of decorations in here is because this is where I spend most of my time. And a little secret, I don't like Christmas decorations. All right, so let's go into the next room here where it gets a little more festive. As you can see, we have a couple decorations here. We have a, this is a random giant present laying there on the ground. Um, we have some more presents here that either um, my son or a bear has dug into uh, when we weren't looking. And then of course we have my new pajamas that just came in, some reindeer pajamas. So um, I'm gonna be putting those on pretty soon. So let's go into the kitchen and uh, you know what? Let's, no, let's not go in there. Let's not go in there. Um, so yes, okay, here we go. Over here we have our manger scene. And this is a lovely manger scene that someone gave us for our wedding. And as you can see, it's just like the original manger scene where you had a donkey, some sheep, and a bunch of uh, magnets laying there as well so it's very realistic uh, one of the things that people uh, neglect uh, a lot of times in their christmas decorations is their window seals so i wanted to show you a uh, giving example of what you can do we really use our window seal. we see we have a big pile of ping pong equipment here there's some origami um and a random metal hook thingy you know whatever you know just make it more festive really make use of those window seals over here on our wine uh, cupboard slash place where we pile a bunch of stuff. Now we're starting to really skip the Christmas spirit. We have our nutcrackers right here. We have, um, let's see what's in here. Oh, oh, it's either a dead mouse or, wow, that's a really big blunt. So, um, okay, and yeah, then over here we have, it, it, hey, it wouldn't be Christmas without Malibu rum and without a screwdriver. So we have those there as well. And of course, any house should have a giant, ridiculous size picture of their family right in the dining room as well. And of course we have our, our rodent in the dining room. Say hi. All right, come on up. So if you follow me this way, we have, um, just, just ignore the mess over here. That's always there. And um, oh, here's a little look into Christmas past. We have, um, this is a place where we like to just throw toys from the past that we never even play with anymore. But every once in a while we discover them and it kind of gives you that warm feeling. Um, right here, we don't have a lot of room for decorations, so we just put a couple Christmas CDs um, sitting there in case we want to listen to some Christmas music. Oh, we just don't have a CD player, so. All right, come on into the living room. Now, now you can see this is where all the magic really happens. I mean, it's very classy in here. My wife did a wonderful job on the uh, fireplace mantle. It's just very, um, you know, very simple and classy. We really like that. Uh, over here on this piece of furniture, we have the traditional um, Christmas elephant. As you can see right there, every house has a Christmas elephant. And um, finally, ta-da, here it is, the, our Christmas tree. We just got it last week. And as you can see, it's beautifully done. And we like to decorate our tree with ornaments that remind us of our of some great memories. Like, like this is the time I remember when we... We rode that purple llama. Oh, that was a crazy day. And uh, uh, this is the time that um, that giant dog attacked the fire truck uh, in town. And then of course, here is a little map with pins in it showing all the places uh, in the country where I've had acupuncture done. So, um, so that's it. Thank you so much for coming on our virtual house tour. We hope you had a great time and um, stick around and I'll get you some eggnog.